DLR Waves took on champions P-Mount United at the UCD Bowl in the Women's National League last Saturday. P-Mount United won the game 2-0, with two goals from Eleanor Ryan Doyle. After the game, we spoke to head coach Graham Kelly, centre-back Neve Barnes, and forward Carla McManus. Neve, a difficult game today. Uh, not not a, uh, the result you would have wanted, but the performance the performance uh, deserves a lot of plaudits, I think. Yeah, um, I think we started probably slow. Um, we didn't come out of the blocks the way we wanted to. Um, maybe we invited that bit of pressure on and came out on a good side. Um, you know, we know them all too well. Um, and they punished us, you know, they got that first goal. Um, so as we went into half time, then we probably needed to reset. Um, I thought we came out second half, probably, you know, gave a better account of ourselves, but probably didn't take our chances as well. Um, you know, we pinned them back and yeah, probably should have, you know, maybe scored one um, at the end there, but sure luck, we move on. Uh, the penalty decision was contentious. Uh, what was your view on that? Um, I actually didn't see it clearly. Um, I know, you know, Lucy didn't go down, but I, I heard uh, the click of her heels. I don't know if she clipped herself or if someone else done it. Um, but yeah, look, we'll have to watch it back and see. It's probably, you know, a little bit soft, I think, in my opinion. Um, you know, when the player stares up and uh, doesn't go to ground, you know, she obviously doesn't feel like it was a peno. So, look, a little bit soft and obviously, you know, gave them that cushion kind of. Uh, when you, up, you know, the other team always have a chance of kind of sneaking a goal in, but then, yeah, with that 2 0 cushion, they kind of sat back and controlled the game. And Positive with the second half performance. I thought first half Pino totally dominated. Second half we came into it a bit more, but looked at they're a top class side and they deserve the three points today. We, we've no complaints, you know, we were beaten by a better team and um, we just regroup and we go again next week. Pino are that kind of team. If you're not playing with belief, if you're not playing full throttle, they will punish you, they will. They they will make uh, they will take their chances. Yeah. They've beaten everyone, but they've won games by much bigger margins than two goals. Yeah, they're very clinical. I feel like if you give them the chance, if you don't play well against them, they will take their chances. Like so, you need to really perform from the first whistle against the likes of Peace. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as for yourself, you've uh, you've scored a few so far this season. Uh, so, uh, are you working on your goal celebrations? Um, it's usually the same thing. Like two hands above the head. Like I don't really be thinking about it in the moment. Like it's just. A bit of like relief scoring the goals and hopefully I can get a few more now. That's I think we need to all work on goal scoring and then we get results then. So. You've played the top three teams in the league this season already. They've all been quite tight games, so the squad is coming along a lot. The new signings like yourself have made a difference and uh, the young players are getting much more mature so there is there are a lot of improvements in the team that they can definitely push on and challenge even for that top three. Yeah, definitely. Um, look, you know, we're growing and um, we know where we are in the league. Um, you know, we want to be challenging, we want to be competing um, with them top teams. And look, you know, it's it's not going to happen overnight. Um, there's a lot of hard work, sacrifice that goes into it, but the girls are giving it everything. You know, obviously we drew against Wexford, um, you know, narrowly lost to Shells and Peamount. You know, hopefully we'll end uh, the first kind of, you know, run of games um, with a win next week, and then you know we'll reset from there. There'll be a mid-season break, and we'll go again. Um, but you know, we're right where we want to be. We're we're up in, um, you know, maybe the top three, top four. Um, so yeah, look, we want to continue and keep going with that. There were chances there for you in the second half. Um, it's it's maybe an, it maybe the only real issue in this team. Defensively solid, good at making chances. 
just taking the chance that sometimes doesn't always seem to happen. Is that something that'll just come with a bit more experience? Yeah, I think so. You, you know, it's, again, you're playing against a top class team. You know, they've beaten everybody in the league this season, so it's not an easy team to play against. But we created a couple of chances when we made changes, and it's like we always say that you know we call our subs game changers, and I think today you could see why because we made four changes and uh, the girls, you know, they get on top and they come into the game a bit more. So yeah, I'm happy happy with the second half performance. You can get all our DLR Waves content on postpost.sport.blog. Don't miss Pelham Back, our domestic Irish football podcast, available every Thursday on most podcast platforms, including Spotify, by searching Postable Sport. Thanks very much for watching. Enjoy the football, and don't forget to subscribe.